Shadow, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? I think you've had enough. She's addicted. Next time I have a tool that needs a home, I can just start putting them up here. I'm going to put another one over there too. I like it. Even though I have this window up here now open, I still need more lighting. So I got another shop light. And I've got one there. I'm going to put one down here. I think there used to be one inside there, but it burned out a long time ago. That'll help with the lighting in this corner. So yeah, I was also thinking about hooking it into the solar because the uh, solar is right around the corner here and I could easily plug into the inverter. So I might do that for backup lighting for this room. Man, I gotta tell you, that was a pain in the butt. It sure was. I hate hanging these lights. But the other ones are dying, you know, so I have to go with the newer ones. And I'm switching them out little by little. I got a ton of them. When I seen the price of these plastic lenses for drop ceiling, they're like five bucks a piece for a two by four. I decided to try to clean these things up. I don't know. I think they might be past their prime. Anyway. Added bonus, I found this wrench on top of my drop ceiling. I haven't seen it for a while. So you know, I've been fixing this room up and I just got through cleaning my lights and installing new lights. And cleaning the floor and just general cleaning and of course I came across some paint you know and I hate to paint I, I just despise painting but it looks like the same color gray as this originally was and while I don't like gray really I mean it's okay I might as well slap some on here I mean how long can it take right so here's the before. I don't know how much painting I'm gonna do, but uh, yeah, let me put some gray on there. Maybe on these tables too. It'd be nice to be able to wipe these with water when they get dirty, you know. All right, let me paint. So I decided to add accents, don't ask me why because I'm not sure, making more work, anyway it should look nice, yeah why not, we'll make the tops black, no reason, just because I have the paint, I need an accent. I painted the little handles even that go up on the cupboards. Should look alright. Yeah, I don't regret that decision to put those on there. 
like it. We're at the back of my homemade CNC machine, the one we're going to be working on. And I thought I'd show you this. This is how I brought up all the wires for the motors and the sensors and everything. And I'll show you more about that when we get into it. But uh, for now, I just wanted to show you what the back of this looked like and how I did it. And this plug is a switched plug. And I'll show you the benefit of that. I've got another one over here I've got to move. So this is what I was going to show you. This is an electrical box that I made and I have a switch and a light on there and I wired it up so you could plug it into another receptacle here and it would power it and I have a long wire on there that goes to this a switch and it's a the kind that you can press to activate and then turn and it pops back out to release so that would be off and this would be on. Let me plug it in here and I'll show you. Anyway, I'm going to be moving this whole thing to the other side. And it's handy because it's like a safety switch, you know. So, that's on and that's off. And this would be an override. So no matter what, if this is in the down position, like for tool changes, it can't come on accidentally even if you did turn it on. So yeah, I've got these on both machines and they're pretty handy. Easy to make too. Well, there's only one thing left to do for now. So yeah, the tables have a little paint on them. They look a lot better. And also, I installed a pegboard back there. Get stuff off the uh, counters. Thinking about turning this table sideways like that. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like it better turned. Also put my bandsaw up there with the drill press. So that wraps it up for another cleaning day of the CNC room. And I think the painting made a big difference in here. You know, the devil is in the details, and I think the details are what make the room nice. And, you know, you got to be happy where you're working. And if you're not, uh, you're not going to get much done. So. I think it's well worth uh, putting a little effort into making this room nice. Anyway, I'm not quite done, but uh, done enough to call it a video, if you will. And we'll continue next week with our CNC projects, chances are. So, I hope you like this series, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you. Bye for now.